on e-content course on technology of metal forming which is sponsored by ICT TARD Department of uh, Human Resource Ministry, New Delhi. Uh, this course, Technology of Metal Forming, consists of the technological aspect of metal forming. Earlier, the previous course, which was Mechanics of Metal Forming, that was dealing with uh, mechanics part, especially stresses, strain, uh, and then the yielding, the concept of yielding, yield surfaces, uh, and the upper bound methods, lower bound methods all those things that was covering mechanics part but this mechanics is utilized for this particular course which is technology of metal form so let us see what is technology of metal forming uh, what is technology technology in fact uh, it's a process that uses science some methods it uses rules, it uses heuristics, etc. So as to convert a workpiece material, metallic, especially in metal forming, we will deal with the metallic workpiece uh, into a uh, defect-free finished product, which is economically converted. It is not like that you spend as many energy, as many time, but the technology is that which converts using science, methods, rules, heuristics, mechanics part, all those things from the raw material to the final products which is defect free and it is converted economically as per desired shape and size. So what is metal working? As we have seen, it consists of deformation processes in which a metal billet or workpiece or blank is shaped by tools or dies. Sometimes we say it as a tool, sometimes we say it as a die, sometimes we say it as a ram. The design and control of such processes depend on an uh, understanding of the characteristics of the workpiece material, what type of material it is, the, the conditions at which uh, the tool and workpiece interface is going through during the process, the, the, the mechanics of the plastic deformation, that is how the material is going to flow during, because of the external forces. Uh, uh, the equipment which is being used for and the finished product which is going to uh, have finally these all affect these factors especially the equipment the 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 the, the, the forces the interface all these uh, uh, factors will influence the selection of tool and the geometry which we are going to get after deformation and the material you have selected uh, and especially the processing conditions that is um, what is the condition of uh, the workpiece, what is the condition of dye, whether it is hard or uh, hot or cold and uh, that what is the temperature during the process and if at all is there any lubrication used or not. Because of the complexity of the metal working operations, there are many operations we will be looking into in detail. Uh, there are many models used out of the mechanics part that we have seen in the, uh, in the last course. There are many uh, models like uh, analytical models are there, physical models are there, numerical models are there are generally used uh, which 
one can rely upon to design such processes. There are number of processes like extrusion, rolling, forging, wire drying, seed forming and all those things. So, what is technology? What is mechanical working? These all together, the course is for technology of metal form. So, uh, in fact, a large number of manufacturing process in which the plastic deformation uh, is used to change the shape and size of the uh, workpiece material. Uh, you use a tool which is called as a die and there are different types of stresses applied on the uh, workpiece from external sources. Uh, and once this force or the, uh, the set of forces become higher or it, it exceeds the yield strength of the material, the material will start flowing and that is how the metal will take a shape as per the desired geometry of the die. Usually metal forming is characterized by significant deformations where uh, there could be massive shape changes and uh, it is characterized by uh, one can say as a bulk metal forming processes where you have a low surface area and there is a uh, surface area to volume ratio and uh, it includes, it, it may start with a cylindrical billet or rectangular billet whatsoever uh, uh, by different way of uh, manufacturing process, metal forming process like uh, there are around six categories of processes, manufacturing processes. Uh, number one which is uh, the main group is shaping by casting. So casting where you heat material in molten form and then you uh, pour it in a cavity. That area is also a forming or shaping. The, our concern is category 2 you can see. The category 2 is forming, category 3 is your shearing, category 4 is your joining and uh, uh, category 5 is your uh, like uh, coating processes like uh, uh, and then the sixth one where you modify material property by way of uh, treatments and surface treatment etc. So we are uh, in this particular course we are more concerned with the category 2 where metal forming comes into. Let us see metal forming as I told you that these processes uh, a metal forming processes whether it is a extrusion whether it is a forging whether it is uh, drying rolling whatsoever all together different types of uh, stresses come across either a one type of or uh, combination of these types it may be a simple case where uniaxial tension, biaxial tension, the triaxial tension, the biaxial tension and compression, biaxial tension and uh, compression, then it may have uniaxial compression, biaxial compression, all together there is a triaxial compression, there is a pure shear and here you will see it is a simple shear with a triaxial. So, all you will see one can name a process associated with these different types of uh, uh, the forces and the corresponding um, form process you may have. This figure shows you uh, for the category 2 forming process you can see here uh, uh, you can form in all together by uh, 5 different way you can apply you can form product by applying pressure, you can form uh, by applying tensile or compressive press, uh, forces, you can form by 
only tensile force you can form by bending and you can form by shear as the last uh, slide you have seen. Once it is formed by pressure, we call it as a rolling process. So, we, you can also call a, a different uh, type of pressure uh, generated, it is open die forging, then the die forging, impact extrusion or plane extrusion. These are where you require pressure and mainly you require a compressive pressure or stress. In case of where you have a tensile or compressive like the drying, drying it is tensile as well as compressive stresses are there. Then the deep drying, same thing, there is a tensile as well as compressive. Then spinning, then collar forming, then upset bulging is all category where you require uh, tensile and compressive uh, form. The third one where you require only tensile uh, forces to shape the work piece, it is a stretching process. It is a bulk forming process. It is a stretch forming process. Then, when you, there are processes by bending, pure bending, and then there are processes where you have pure shear. You see these processes one by one. So, let us see what is technology of metal form. So, all together, it's a technique by which parts or components are shaped into defect free finished product. Defect free means you do lot of uh, work on to the, but the ultimate aim is to have the shape, final shape without any defect. If there is any defect occurred, there are no, n number of defects. If any defect comes, then what is the purpose of shaping? by a particular process. So, it is a technique. When we deal with the technology of metal forming, we deal with the technology by which parts or components are shaped into defect free finished product from a given metal stock. That is, metal forming involves changing the shape of a piece of work using forming tools, dies, presses and energy. In general terms, however, it may be classified roughly into five categories. So, the five categories, the mechanical working which will involve forging, extrusion, rolling, drying, various heat forming processes. This Mechanical working is our concern, this particular course. Casting is another uh, category where you form. Then the powder and fiber metal forming is another category where you form a, a, a starting from some raw material to a given final shape and size. Electro forming, magnetic and explosive forming, joining processes like all welding processes are has also aimed to shape into some final product. So our concern is basically uh, the metal working uh, uh, process. So uh, let us before starting going into deep, let us see the history of metal forming where you see the 